So far, the issues that we've been talking about have been mostly system issues, things like reliability. I'd also like to spend a moment talking about software engineering uh, side of things, that is, building these systems. First category of issue has to do with requirements. Because non-functional requirements dominate this sort of situation, the uh, requirements analyst has to elicit this information from the customers. And of course, uh, it's axiomatic that the customers aren't always sure of, of what the requirements should be, particularly with respect to quality of service. That is, some kind of uh, measured understanding of how the system is going to deal with these non-functional situations. Second concern is software architecture. Recall, I've been stressing uh, throughout the course that the key element of coming up with a good solution architecturally is how it's going to deal with the non-functional requirements. A corollary to that is in coming up with the architecture and choosing the connectors, uh, how do those connectors relate to the middleware solutions that we have? Can, for example, we find an appropriate middleware technology for dealing with one of the connectors we've selected to be included in the architecture? Third software engineering issue has to do with some design questions. Whenever you have a distributed application, you have a network. Whenever you have a network, you have latency, that is delays in uh, message passing. How is your system going to deal at the software level with this uh, latency? Are there timeouts? Are there uh, the implementation of some kind of uh, protocol for resending and so on? Another key question uh, at the design level as far as um, distributed applications are concerned is statefulness. You know that uh, the web applications often are stateless. That is, every time you interact with the server, the server has to treat your interaction as a self-contained unit without relying on any uh, variables retaining values. Of course, a database sitting there uh, can serve as a persistent uh, but heavyweight uh, way of keeping track of state. And the question for the designer then is how they're going to deal with this. One solution is, uh, you've seen probably with respect to cookies, that is the server sends back some of its state to the client, which then returns that information on the next, uh, next interaction. And then there's just the general question of concurrency. How is synchronization going to be performed? How can you ensure you don't run into problems like uh, dead uh, deadlock uh, or uh, making sure that every one of the pieces of the system has some kind of interaction on a timely basis, that is, that it's live. 